this is the guys this piece inspired this entire video and it was five dollars i'm gonna put crystals in that and i'm gonna hang that shit on my wall Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing magical. If you're new, my name is Tay Luna. Welcome to our spiritual fun hippie channel. I'm super happy to have you. Make sure to click the subscribe button to see more videos like this. And today I wanted to pause, wait a second backtrack i told you guys that february was crystal education month and a lot happened i was struggling with my health and a couple other things you know life happens so i have two more crystal videos that i want to get out to you and i'll try and get them like bang bang like today tomorrow um and then march we are starting a completely new like theme for our channel so yeah i'm really excited to bring all of those new videos to you but before i do i want to film um two more crystal videos the one today and then our surprise grand finale will hopefully be up for you tomorrow so make sure to like this video if you enjoyed crystal education month it is not the end i have lots more coming i just wanted to dive in a little bit you know what i'm saying for our second to last crystal video today we are going to be talking about the ways that i like to store and display my crystals, how I like to decorate with my crystals. Um, because as we know, crystals are very healing to us and even just having them around your space is going to amplify all of that good energy around you. So um, yeah, it's really fun to decorate with your crystals. If you try any of these things out or if you have some awesome crystal displays or anything like that, please share a photo on Instagram. You can tag me at Tay Luna. I would love to see it and share it with our tribe. Um, and yeah, so let's just dive right in, y'all. I'm so excited about this video. I made a video like years and years and years ago kind of about how I used to display my crystals. So if you wanna see the old one, I'll leave the link in the description. I have a lot of pieces that I like to work with in meditation and Reiki and stuff like that that I need kind of just quick, easy access to. Um, and I kept a lot of my like more miscellaneous pieces in a glass jar just like this. Um, and it just sat inside my little like I don't know, my meditation table over there. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I hope you know what I'm talking about. The gray table over there. Um, so they were all just kind of hidden and I don't like that. Like I want my crystals to be seen and celebrated. You know, we love them. So I was shopping around Target and this is the, guys, this piece inspired this entire video and it was $5. I am so excited and I hope a bunch of you go out and do this and like send me pictures. But you know in the front part of Target where it's like the little dollar section? I found this. It's like a circle, a wooden circle piece, but it has like these plastic covers on each side so you can put stuff in here, right? And it has a little part on the back so you can hang it on your wall. This piece, you guys, inspired this whole video because the moment I set eyes on it, I was like, Bet I'm gonna put crystals in that and I'm gonna hang that shit on my wall. All right, look at that. Look how cool that is. And you can see everything very well. It's not very thick, so um, I can pretty much see like all the way through it what pieces I have. And I just thought that this was the coolest looking thing ever, you guys. These are like the pieces that people charge 40 plus dollars for on Etsy and on, you know, all of those online shops, which is totally fine. Um, it's probably handmade, but this was from Target for $5. They have it in this pretty light color, and I think they had a darker color too. I just have more light wood in my apartment, so I got the light one. But you guys have to go to your local Target like ASAP and grab one of these for your crystals because I just, it's, I mean, it's perfect. Like, can you, can you, you know what I mean? It's perfect. So I don't know where I'm gonna hang it yet. I'm really excited to hang it up. I'm really excited. So that inspired this whole video and here we are. This is like a display box that I found at a thrift store and I probably paid, I don't have the sticker on it, but I probably paid like $4 or something like that for it. It's got a really nice piece of glass on the top and then the little door opens on the side and you can decorate it with all kinds of stuff. So as you guys can see, I have like crystals and shells, um, a little smudge stick, 
all kinds of stuff in here. And I really like this because it makes it look very like polished and put together, you know, even with it just being behind a piece of glass. I just think it looks very organized and clean. Um, and I just, I love this. So you could even get like a regular dis like photo display box where they just have, it's basically like a picture frame, but like a really thick picture frame. Um, and you can use those too to display all of your crystals. Those would be really good for like your bigger pieces. Um, and then of course definitely finding one with like a bunch of little compartments like this is perfect because you can, you know, store all your little babies in there. If I can find anything similar online, I will link them in the description for you, but I also sell a lot of these displays on my online shop, so if you want to check that out, I'll also leave that down below for you. Another way that I like to display my crystals is to obviously just kind of place them around my home in pretty spots. Um, this one I just thrifted recently and I've shared it with you on my YouTube community and on my Instagram story So I'll leave those for you in the description if you haven't seen it But it's basically this giant like agate crystal and it has a really pretty druzy crystally center if it wants to focus There we go. Yeah, it's super pretty. I really really like it and this piece is really heavy so it's not necessarily something I would want to put on a piece that's hanging on my wall. You know, like these are all small and lightweight. This whole thing probably weighs like maybe five pounds, if that. And this probably weighs five pounds on its own. So I like to place my bigger pieces kind of around on display so when people come into my home they can see them and pick them up and hold them and um, you know it's a great conversation starter as well people always want to know about crystals and what they do so having them just around anywhere <laughs> is a good way to kind of decorate and accessorize you know what I'm saying I'm gonna take you around to different places in my house and show you my other displays and kind of hopefully give you some inspiration I apologize for the lighting switch you guys I'm filming this part of the video at night as you can probably see but another place that I love to store and display and decorate with my crystals is on bookshelves so um, the first thing that I did to display my pieces is I actually ordered this gorgeous crystal box on TJ Maxx's website I don't know if it's still there you could totally DIY this with like your own agate crystal but it's just this glass crystal box with well crystals inside as well so this is one of the more like fancy things that I have and a homemade um, sage like bundle like sage smudge stick that I made from freshly grown sage and lavender so I love this box it it's just, it makes it look so bougie, you know? <laughs> I also just placed these two larger crystals down here. There's really not much to it. I just literally put them there, but I think they look really nice. Another place that I like to decorate with crystals is actually just on my coffee table. I have this little section right here with a gorgeous zebra plant. Um, and I have a few pieces right here. I have like a giant crystal chunk that I actually thrifted. Um, I have this piece right here. We are trying to identify. If you have any ideas, let me know. I just don't remember. And then I have this really pretty sun like circle little container that I thrifted. And I just have a couple pieces in here. I just keep a few in here that I really love and um, work with often. And I just love to store them out here like that. So this is another piece here that I actually DIY'd and made myself to display and organize my crystals and other little spiritual hippie things. I actually got each individual little triangle from Michaels and it originally was like a small little Christmas tree with a star at the top I just ripped the star off um, and then I stained just one at first and used it as a little display shelf and then I was like holy shit I want to make a giant one so I bought three more and I made it myself Unfortunately, I cannot seem to find the same shelves. I've checked every year around Christmas when I found them, and I haven't found anything similar, but I do plan on making a DIY for something like this so you guys can have something similar. I mean, I just keep like literally all kinds of stuff in here. I'm sure you probably recognize some of these things from YouTube videos, definitely like some things down here. Um, I have a couple like crystal jewelry pieces in here. So I have some citrine, all kinds of goodies. This little Buddha is actually brand new. He's a new addition. Um, 
this is like my little altar for my dog that we had to put down this past year. So I just have like little things in here for her and all of my crystal chips, which I am missing some bottles. I need to get more. I also thrifted this gorgeous like moon fairy pin recently. So I had to display her. She's freaking gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so I made this. I love this. I've always used it for like my smaller little pieces and trinkets and stuff. So I love that. Give me a thumbs up and comment below if you want a DIY on this. Again, I will do my best to do something similar because I get lots of questions about it. <laughs> So I also like to keep crystals by my bed. Sorry my bed is not made, that's not cute, but that's not the point of the video. Um, I wanted to mention to definitely put some amethyst crystal near your bed. It is supposed to help you um, sleep better. It's supposed to help with nightmares and getting rid of them. I always put crystals inside my plants. Um, I just, I love the energy it gives it. It always brings my plants to life. If you can see, this one is starting to grow a new leaf and I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, I think it just makes them look super pretty, gives them a little, you know, unique thing to them. And yeah, obviously the energy, the frequencies are good for the plants, just like they are for humans. So I always put crystals in my plants. I'll show you a couple more for some inspiration. <laughs> In this case, I just have the crystals near my plants, so I have a bunch of them out here. Look at this big aloe. Ah! There's definitely crystals in there. There's my little fairy. But they're hiding down there. <laughs> So you guys just saw me decorate this shelf in a recent video, which it will be changing because this actually sold like right when I posted it. Um, but I use these big shelves to store my crystals. I have some oracle cards up here, some lavender, candles, bells, all kinds of goodies. And I get these shelves at the thrift store and they're very, very cheap. Um, they're very heavy duty. I really, really like them. This one has some pegs on the bottom you can hang stuff from and I just love the look of them. I sell similar ones in my shop. I'll leave the link in the description, but I just wanted to give you guys a little overview. And then of course you guys know that my little area over here always has a bunch of crystals on it, like my little money altar. Um, I like to put crystals on my little statues, bring some energy to them. There's a clear quartz. Um, my cute little Luna mirror that I love. But yeah, I keep a bunch of them in here. I keep a bunch of them on here because I just regularly use this little table. And then I have this little shelf where I keep my crystal malas and my rosaries. Um, I guess this isn't, isn't really like crystal crystals, but I mean, some of my malas like are made of real crystals, so I guess it counts. <laughs> and I made this crystal pendant out of clay and I'm obsessed with it, so it counts. <laughs> As for my kitchen, I actually keep um, this piece of amethyst, which is from a meditation, and that little rose quartz piece up on my little counter up here. And then right by my dishes, I have a piece of clear quartz for amplifying energy, which is good for amplifying like clean energy, of course. <laughs> I also love to keep crystals in my bathroom. Keep a couple points of clear quartz in here for Reiki treatments that I like to do when I'm in the shower for cleansing and healing. My amethyst, my little coral piece. I have all of my little clear quartz points that I use for my Reiki every morning to cleanse myself. And yeah, I love having crystals in my shower and also putting them in the bathtub would recommend. <laughs> Another thing that I like to do um, to display my crystals is use these cute little glass containers. This is one that I actually thrifted for like a couple dollars, but you can find stuff like this pretty much anywhere, like any TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They have tons of stuff like this, and I love them. I just, you know, place a few crystals on the bottom, and then I actually used, for this one, I used some moss, which I love, the like natural kind of look that it gives to it, but I just think this is such a fun way to display your crystals, sort of like that other like crystal glass container. 
Um, I just found this little tiny one and she sits right here on my desk and I love that. So that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this inspires you to decorate with your crystals more and you know, don't store them away. So people need to see their magic. You need to see their magic every day. Um, yeah, don't store them away. Definitely go get yourself one of these things from Target <laughs> and get your crystals on your wall, okay? Tayluna is ordering it of you right now. It is mandatory for everyone in our tribe. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. So like I said earlier, if you guys try out any of these or if you just wanna show the tribe your crystals and your organization and all that fun stuff, um, you can share it on Instagram and tag me at Tayluna or if you wanna join our private Facebook group and just share it to our our tribe and we can talk all about it. I'll leave the link down there in the description so you can join. It's totally free. There's no strings attached. You don't have to buy something. Just join our group and introduce yourself and yeah, share your little magical crystals with us. I would love to see them. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in the next video which is the grand finale of our crystal education month you guys have been asking for this video for so long if you have any guesses let me know but i will see you then i love you to the moon and back and um yeah i'll see you soon <laughs> bye guys Mwah.